dear protesters in, in Europe and other places in the world, I haven't seen you protesting against cities in Israel who are bombed for 16 years from Hamas rockets and other terrorist organizations from Gaza. I didn't see you uh, protesting. I didn't see you protesting so much after what's happening in Syria, where so many people are being killed every second, and in Iraq, every second, even in the time that we are talking right now, there are more Muslims killed by other Muslims than in all these, this operation right now, every day. You know that? So I haven't seen you protesting against, against that. And I, I don't know if you know that Israel has a hospital that we treat a lot of, like hundreds of people in Sy from Syria that are injured. Every day we treat them and we send them back to Syria. Nobody knows about it, right? Because of what? Because we have value for life. That's why. And right now we are actually building a hospital for the people of Gaza. But you don't know that, right? And you're not interested in the, in the truth. For you, it's so easy to, to blame every time, everything on Israel. It's so easy. I want to see you confronting a terrorist organization within your cities. What if somebody will dig in the ground and go under your schools or your um, dining halls or your cafes? I want to see how you deal with terror, that we are dealing all the life of the, of the country of Israel, we are dealing with terrorist organizations. So I want to see you dealing with this. Before you go to protest against Israel, understand that Israel confront terrorism. And you don't want to have terrorism in your cities, right? In London, in Paris, in other places. You don't want to see terrorists there. But once you cross the line and you start supporting a terrorist organization, you cross the line. And believe me, that's not a line you want to cross. So Israel is fighting terrorism. And instead of blaming Israel every time, try to understand Israel has values. Israel wants to leave. Israel wants to create. Israel is not occupying anybody. So st stop with these stories. Because we gave a lot of the land from Gaza to these people. We gave them houses. We gave them agriculture. But they decided to destroy everything. All, the, all what's, what was left on the ground, they destroyed it. Hamas destroyed it. And built a terrorist base. That's what we are finding right now. After so many years, when we are again in an operation back in Gaza and we find the whole city is like an army base. They used all the money they got from Arab countries, from Europe taxes, from Europe taxes. They used all the money to build rockets, to build tunnels of death tunnels, of attack tunnels against Israel. That's what they did. They built, uh, they, they bought ammunition. That's what they did. And look at the poor people of Gaza. They didn't give them anything, anything back to the people of Gaza. So what would you do different? I really want you to understand before you're protesting against Israel, trying to understand that you're not in Israel's shoes and you do not want to be in Israel's shoes because you do not want to be confronting a terrorist organization. So don't condemn us, condemn terror. Thank you very much.